How's it going people? Salmon Slab are you? And more tiny tasks just come out, so I thought I'd uh, try and make a guide as quick as possible. So, this one is just for your easy tasks of uh, Mortania task set. And for this you'll be needing 15 crafting, 12 cooking, 25 agility, 26 farming, and 5 slayer. You also need to have completed Priest in Peril, Creature of Frankenstein, and Nature Spirit, and also in aid of the Marak. Items you'll be needing. You'll need yourself a Limpwort Seed, your Blessed Silver Sickle, and your Ring of Charos, a Wolfbane Dagger, and your Druid Pouch. So, starting this off, I'll start by planting the Limpwort Root, as that does take a while to grow, so hopefully by the time we finish it'll be grown. So, come on over to the Canifers farming area, plant your Limby. Next up on the list is killing an experiment underneath Frankenstein's castle. I honestly don't remember where to go, but I'm pretty sure it's in the statue or grave. So there you go, just kill an experiment. There you go. So next up is heading to the Canopus Slayer Tower and killing something on the bottom floor. So, just kill a crawl in hand, and there will be another task complete. You can actually kill a bat if it's within side like this, and that will also net you the task. But it's a lot easier to have the five slayer to take it out. So next up is using a wolfbane dagger to kill one of the men or werewolves in Canifus. So that's another one done. 
So next up we now need to kill a ghast. And we also need to get some fungi. So easiest place to get fungi around here is right by here. Just cast bloom. And pick it up and a ghast should attack. And as soon as he's spawned, just kill him. And there's another one. We need to head south a bit, and we need to go to the nature's grotto. While you're running through, kill a snail, or snail, and pick up a shell and the actual snail itself, as we need that as well. So head on into Nature's Grotto and search a tree or Ender even and just pray at the altar of nature. So next up we now need to do an easy temple track and run from Patadermis. So we now need to head all the way back up. So once you're up here, cut down a tree. And light on fire as we're now going to cook our snail. And that's another task. And the shell we got, craft that into a snail. And that's another task done. So you want to head up towards Patadermis Temple and check the notice board. Pick a random follower and start the track. So you want to constantly go through the easy, which is on the western side. So always choose the western path.
So for this one, I've got Gast. So if you need more pouches, just simply cast Bloom on the logs in here, pick up some more fungus and then use them on your pouches. So once you've killed everything in there, continue your track. And again, head down the easy path. And this time I've got Voya Watchers. Well, Vampire Juvenates, should say. If you haven't got the flail of Avandis, or blister woods or anything like that, then you can use your silver sickle. But you will need a silver sickle to do any damage to them. So once they're dead, carry on through. And again, easy path. And this time we got the hungry people, so just use your food on them. And as soon as they turn back to normal, move on to the next, until you've done them all. And then we can move on. And once you've done it a few times, that's it. So the only thing left for us to do now is play a game of Werewolf Skullball and harvest our limpwort root. So I'll meet you up in Canafis and I'll show you how to get to the Werewolf Skullball area. So to get to the Werewolf Skullball course you want to exit the northeastern side where the Slay Master is, Maskna or whatever his name is, and then go south just outside of Canafis. And once you're about equal with the bank, head about southeast, and you should come across a hut with a werewolf guard in it. Make sure you equip your ring of charros and head on down inside. Once you're here, talk to the skull ball boss. Should be right next to you, and go through the course. So, never actually played this before, but I'll try and give you instructions. So, first things first, you want to tap it to the left, and tap it west again. Then you want to kick it north, and tap it north, and tap it north again. Now you want to shoot. Then you want to kick north, then you want to tap it east, then you want to kick it north again, then 
then you want to top it east and then top east again then you want to kick it north uh, shoot north even sorry then you want to tap it west then you want to shoot north then you want to tap it east then you want to kick it north Then you want to tap it north again, and kick it east. Then tap it north, and tap it north again. Then you want to shoot it east. Then you want to kick it east. Then you want to shoot south. Then you want to tap it west. Then you want to shoot south. Then you want to shoot south again. Then you want to tap it east. Then you want to shoot south again. Then you want to shoot south again. Then you want to tap it west. And again. And again. Then you want to tap it south twice. Then shoot west. And finally kick it north. And if you manage to complete this course under 4 minutes you can actually get 750 XP. This is not bad for low level agility training. But once you've done that, the only thing left to do for the easy tasks is farm your limbwort roots. So I will meet you at the cannabis farming patch. So once you arrive at the cannabis farming patch, your limbwort roots should have grown by now. And all you've got to do is pick it. So there you go. Congratulations, you've completed all the easy tasks in Mortania set. Speak to Halic Mina, just east of the Patodermis, to claim your reward. So, I'll show you where that is now. So it's literally, you have to talk to the monk just outside Patodermis Temple. He should be next to the temple tracking board. So, let's make our way over there. Don't forget, if you do complete, I think it's up to the medium tasks of the Mortania set, you get an early bird bonus and get an extra lamp of XP. Which is always nice. So, once you're over here, talk to Halic Miner. 
asking about the task system and he'll hand you legs and a lamp so what these legs actually do ghasts will be 50% less likely to attack you bloom will give you twice as many fungus as normal and assisting people in temple dragon will offer 5% more rewards there's also the lamp will give you 4k xp so all in all not bad and we've got our Miltania legs one so just to show you what they look like that's them right there so in case you're curious show you the stats of them it gives you an attack bonus of 4 to range and 2 stab slash and crush defense so as usual not very impressive but the additional benefits are pretty good so well worth doing and I'll catch you again for the medium task as soon as possible so catch you all later